Yeah. Hi, Ryan. So today we are talking about uh, cybersecurity in uh, 2020, this year. Um, on this data right now, what, what is your um, uh, forecast for this year? What will be the top uh, security threats in 2020? Um, I think in 2020, uh, specifically in Malaysia, um, there will be three top threats that I think would be um, uh, hitting the market. Mm -hmm. um, the first threat would be the, uh, the mobile threats where it's uh, prone to a lot of a phishing attack against the mobile um, as, and as well as ransomware mm -hmm. and also the uh, evolutions of 5G is coming to Malaysia mm -hmm. so the mobile uh, threat is actually uh, one of the top uh, You mean attacks, attacks through the mobile, mobile phones directly? Correct, yeah. that's okay. right. Mm -hmm. So the second one, um, I would, in my opinion, it would be the um, IoT uh, attacks. Mm -hmm. um, there's, since it's a, a Industry 4.0 is growing in Malaysia mm -hmm. and a lot of more products develop on the IoT platform, mm -hmm. so uh, the attacks against the IoT is, is going to be grow as well mm -hmm. uh, yeah. as more and more uh, manufacturers adopt the uh, IR 4.0. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the third uh, threat could be a cloud computing mm -hmm. um, because the, uh, when all the devices are now converged and connected to each other and it heavily depends on the clouds, mm -hmm. so the threats uh, such as the um, data breach and also click jacking will actually uh, uh, are going to grow exponentially yeah. as well. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, mobile devices, IoT and cloud. Yeah. Sure. Okay, good. Anything specifically uh, that happened already this year that you can share, like a case or something that, that happened? Yes, uh, that's bringing back uh, last week, one of my friends actually uh, uh, consulted me that uh, his mobile phone actually uh, kind of uh, either get hacked or maybe it's actually his bank account got hacked. So he received um, a small SMS uh, coming from the bank and mm. it says that the uh, hey uh, your Uber account has been charged for this uh, Indian rupee. Mm. Wow. So um, initially he thought this is just a phishing uh, SMS mm. but when he checked against his uh, bank balance that transaction actually went through and it is a fraud oh, transactions wow. already happened. Oh, okay. uh, that triggered the whole situations that he had to get the uh, cards replaced and also report to the authority. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay and that came via the mobile phone or the the credit or debit card. Right? Correct. So we suspect uh, an initial uh, investigation. We suspect that uh, his uh, Uber uh, applications in the mobile, it mm -hmm. probably have leak out. So maybe his username and password has been stolen somewhere out there in the dark web, and um, the attacker actually used that account to log in mm -hmm. uh, safely. You know, without having to get two factor operations, mm -hmm. and uh, he can actually uh, make the payment from the mobile wow. just okay. by that. I see. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that, Ryan. Thank you.